Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story comes out of the Bible Stories for Children book, as retold by Jeffrey Horn and Arthur Kavanaugh. And today's story is called Jacob's Return. The closer Jacob got to Canaan, the more he worried that Esau might still be angry with him. And so one night when he stopped by a stream, he sent messengers ahead to get greet Esau and offer him friendship. Soon the messenger returned to Jacob. We saw your brother Esau and gave him your message, they said. And he is coming to meet you with 400 men. 400 men, thought Jacob. He must be planning to kill me and my whole family. So Jacob asked the Lord for help, saying, God of Abraham and Isaac, you said you would be with me if I returned home. I know I do not deserve your mercy, Lord, but please protect me and my family from my brother. Then Jacob spent a restless night. The next morning, Jacob sent gifts to Esau to show his friendship, choosing the finest sheep, goats, camels, and cattle from his herds and flocks. After Jacob sent the gifts to Esau, he ordered Leah, Rachel, and all their children and the rest of the servants and animals to the other side of the stream for safety. By nighttime, Jacob stood alone in the darkness. Suddenly, he felt two arms around him, grabbing his throat and pulling him down. Without knowing who had attacked him or why, Jacob fought back with all his strength. Throughout the night, Jacob wrestled with the stranger, their arms and legs locked together. Each time Jacob felt his breath stop or his eyes closing, he forced himself to fight harder, for he knew that if he gave up, he would die. But the stranger never seemed to get tired, no matter how hard Jacob fought. Finally, when the stranger saw that Jacob would not give up, he pulled at Jacob's hip, ripping the muscle off his thigh, and said to Jacob, Let me go, for the dawn is breaking. I will not let you go until you bless me, said Jacob. What is your name? the stranger asked. Jacob, he answered. Then the stranger relaxed his grip and said, I call you Israel, a fighter's name, because you have fought with God and men and won the battle. Loosening his hold on the stranger, Jacob asked, What is your name? Do not ask me, he said. Quickly, he slipped out of Jacob's arms and was gone. I have looked at God face to face, and I am still alive, thought Jacob, amazed that he had lived through the struggle. Then Jacob saw that the sun had risen and that Esau was coming toward him with 400 men. Wearily, Jacob stood up and brushed the dirt from his clothes. Bowing low seven times, Jacob limped forward to meet his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and kissed him. And the two brothers wept in each other's arms. Who are all these people? asked Esau. This is the family that God has graciously given me, Jacob answered. He introduced Leah and Rachel and all his children, and each came up to Esau and bowed down before him. Then Esau asked, Why did you send me all these presents? So that you would be friendly to me, said Jacob. Thank you, said Esau. But I, too, have been blessed by God and have wives and children and many servants and animals. Esau, said Jacob, seeing your face again is like seeing the face of God. 
If you are happy to see me, please take the presents I have sent you and my blessing, for God has given me plenty. So Esau accepted his brother's gifts and said to Jacob, Let us travel together to my home and live there as one family. Jacob thanked his brother, but said he could not stay with him. Instead, he continued on his journey back to Canaan, the land that God had promised to Abraham and Isaac as the place where the children of Israel would someday make their home. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.